Hello class, I am Anamika ma'am. Today I will start a chapter string in Java. String. What is string? String means a set of letters or characters are called string. It may be a sequence of characters or set of characters. It may be a, a character array. Suppose if I give one example, I am a student. This is one string. Suppose I am writing hello world. This is another string. And what is character? Each and every single thing in a string is called character. Suppose here R is a character, blank is a character, A is a character, M is a character, like this full stop also a character. Here also same A is a character, E is a character, blank is a character, exclamatory sign is a character. So each and every single thing in a string is called character. Now let me explain some Character related function. First, first character related function is character dot each letter. Character C H A R A C T E R. Character dot each letter. Here, C and L in capital letter and no gap. As you know, Java is case sensitive. So, you have to write down C and L in capital letter without no space. Within bracket, you write down any character. Suppose I am writing here C and this function will check given, given character is a letter or not. Letter means alphabet. If it is alphabet, then it returns to, uh, and if it is not alphabet, it is digit or other characters, then it becomes false. So it returns back one, two, or false. That's why it is a Boolean type variable, and I store a Boolean Boolean type variable. Type of variable is Boolean. I suppose I'm giving variable name B. You can use any other variable name. So here, each character dot each letter giving character is uh, actually a letter. That means if it is an alphabet, then it returns here to otherwise false. Then we write down system dot out dot print ln to Check is working properly or not. Let's compile. Class compile no syntax error. So I run my program. So it's showing true. That means C is really an alphabet. So it returns true. Now let me check if I give a digit instead of an alphabet. Then what happens? Obviously, C is not a alphabet, not an alphabet. That's why it returns false because it is a digit. So, I think you can understand the first character function which is character dot each letter for checking the given character is alphabet or not. Then the second one is character dot is digit. All things same instead of letter you write down digit. And if you give here any character it checks it is actually digit or not. Digit means number and it is a single character that's why it is from 0 to 9 any number you can 
eight years, or uh, if it is from zero to nine, then it is digit, then it becomes true, otherwise it becomes false. In my example, six is uh, digit, so let's check our result should be true. Then we again check it with a letter that means alphabet. Let's give P. Then P is not a digit, so it becomes false. So students, I think you understand the second one also. It is check character is digit or not. Then proceed to third one. Third one is you can check both e letter or digit. As you see, L in capital, O in capital, and D in capital, and all times C is capital. So, character dot is letter or digit, it will check given character may be in letter or may be in digit. In both cases, it becomes true. So, I check it. It is true because it is a letter. Then, if I give here one digit, suppose nine, then also it returns two because it is applicable for both, maybe it is letter or digit. Then, if I give other than letter or digit, suppose I give one asterisk sign. It is not alphabet or not digit. So, it is done false because it takes for this alphabet or digit. So, it is false because Asterisk is not an alphabet or not a digit, so it becomes false. So, uh, I think you can understand the third one also. Let's proceed to the fourth one, which is character dot is white space. White space means it's taking blank. W in capital. And S in capital. If you write down anything other than blank, then it will become obviously false. Let's check. Here is an error. White space, in white space, A should be in small letter. Then, we compile it and 
take it so it's uh, giving us two because it i use one space over there then if i instead of space if i use some other character suppose i give one actual sign then So false because asterisk is not a blank. Then I proceed to the next function, which is check a character is in uppercase or not. You know there are two cases, uppercase and lowercase. The character is is in uppercase or not. That means in capital letter or not. then if you give any character that i will check is in given character is in uppercase or not here i give one capital a let's check what will be the result capital a so it is in uppercase in capital form that's why it is done true then if i give one small letter suppose i give small a then obviously it is done false because it check only for upper case the given character is in upper case or not similarly for lower case there is a character function for checking if it is in lower case or not that means small letter it is in small letter or not so i give one small a so obviously it is done to because it check given character is in lower case or not and i give in a lower case that's why it is done true if i give your capital letter then let's see i give some capital letter check it is false because i give one capital letter and it is not or the curve will be done false. Then the next one is character to dot to upper case. That means if you have your letter in small case, that means small letter, then it converts it to upper letter. Here instead of e, you write down two. Two, suppose I want upper case. So character dot to upper case and give any small letter, it converts to upper case. Then obviously it not returns back in true or false because it returns another character in small letter to capital letter. So from one character to another character, that's why we have to store here in one character type variable not boolean type because it's not written back true or false it's done back one character so let's check i give small a let it convert to capital a so if you give any small letter it converts to capital letter in same way another function is there converting to lower case here is e lower to lower case and it will be any upper case letter it converts to lower case i give capital a let's see it converts to small a 